Ladies and gentlemen, feast your eyes on one of the sexiest motorcycles ever made. This is the Eddie Lawson replica, Eddie Lawson style superbike. It's the ZRX 1100. Only made this for two years in the United States here. This is the black and gold model, which is really uh, quite classy. It's, the bike's 20 years old, and the final one with only 22,000 original miles of the original paint that's this nice is uh, quite a find. Has adjustable suspension front and rear. It's got the Kayaba long travel shocks, and I actually just I, I played with the clickers a little bit. I put the top on a four and the bottom on a three, which is a little bit stiffer because I'm a heavy, faster rider. And uh, the, the, the front forks are adjustable also. You can adjust the suspension in about 30 seconds. This one's got some real tasty upgrades on it. It's got the Corbin saddle, which is a huge upgrade from the stock in comfort and quality. It has a full Yoshimura RS3 American flag, full header system, four into one. It also has the jetting kit. I've got the receipts for all the work that was done. He paid $400 to have the jetting kit installed. Uh, it's got the pod filters, the uni pod filters. That's another $100, $150 upgrade. Uh, the Corbin seat is over $2,000 invested in the bike between the exhaust, the, the intake, the jetting, and the Corbin saddle. It also has a nice set of Pirelli Gran Turismo tires, front and rear. Comes from the factory stock with the Tokiko six piston calipers. Um, huge dual disc front, front end with the, I believe it's 43 millimeter forks. They're super beefy forks, very stiff to match the Really cool rear swing arm. Take a look at that swing arm. The style of it's awesome. It's tubular. It has like a triangulated section, uh, a conical style rear adjuster for the chain drive on the back. It's gold to match the gold insert on the disc, brake disc. The, ma the mags are black from the factory. There's gold on the Kiava shocks, gold on the ZRX, gold on the paint. It's, you know, ironically, the guy we bought this from, local guy, We've known for a long time. He's one of my neighbors. Um, bought the bike down and had us say hello. Kenny wanted to buy this thing. And I was like, you know, I'd, he's 21 years old. And uh, this might be a little bit much bike for, for most 21 years old. Even though he's a, an accomplished amateur racer behind the camera here. I just didn't, the thought of him being on it. This is, this is an adult bike. It's got well over 100 horsepower. Do 11 second quarter mile. And uh, it's a lot of machine. I've got the title in hand here for it. I also have the owner's manual. The ZRX 1100 was made from 99 to 2001. It's a four stroke transverse four cylinder double overhead cam with four valves per cylinder with a displacement of 64.2 cubic inch or 1,052 cc's. Now it looks like an air cooled bike, but it's liquid cooled. Um, it has a bank of 36 millimeter Makuni carburetors. These ones have been jetted for the full Yoshimura exhaust, has a CDI ignition, electric start, 106 horsepower to 8,700 RPM with 72 foot-pound of torque at 7,000. Five-speed transmission with a train rear drive. That's a brand new chain. I, I was trying to remember the story earlier, but the guy bought it in he, uh, to the local Enfield Kawasaki dealer and he wanted a gold chain put on and they put this uh, standard black chain. He was all bent out of shape about it. So that, that's something, it's a new chain. I wouldn't change it, but when it wears out, I think a gold chain would really give this thing a pop with the to match the gold tank logos and just one of the sexiest super bikes we've had here at, at the at the museum it came in green too but this black and gold is super classy short wheelbase 57 inch makes this thing an absolute wheelie machine low seat height 31 inches and it only weighs 487 pounds uh with lots of horsepower to send you down the road huge 5.3 gallon gas can gas tank with 34 miles per gallon 
get you down the road about 150 miles and it'll do the quarter mile in 11.6 seconds out of the box stock probably a little bit faster with the opened intake and exhaust so uh, top speed of 146 miles per hour and will the real Eddie Lawson please stand up <laughs> just a kick-ass piece if you followed AMA Superbike racing in the early 80s you know what this bike is all about there's no mistaking the profile of this as an Eddie Lawson replica just a, an awesome piece of moto history these are cult following on these if you're watching this video you may know more about this bike than I do I don't claim to be an expert about on it but it does have awesome torque down low gorgeous simply gorgeous styling that's undebatable and uh, big heavy duty forks and a ton of room for upgrading the horsepower there's a lot of speed merchants from Japan like Dr. Suda and uh, Yoshimura that really know their shit how to make these things absolutely scream I don't think it needs any more power than it does stock for on the street we didn't have to do much to it it went through for a full rotisserie detail which means it was completely steam clean polished and waxed top to bottom front to back for a total of seven hours a complete day was spent in the detail shop uh, they actually touch up painted the rims um, buffed the tank uh, cleaned up all, the entire bike top to bottom the headers were repainted with a high temp black the um, ceramic black the all the aluminum was lightly polished and it's just a beautiful piece of seat was leather conditioned went through the service department got two gallons of vp 110 non ethanol fuel um it's got new oil in it and new the brake fluid was was checked it seemed to be in good condition they didn't mess with that because there's a stack of invoices from the previous owner about two thousand dollars worth of service invoices so the bike was fully serviced before it got here. The, uh, ch chain the chain tension was on point because they put the new chain on recently. Axle nuts were good. All the body nuts were checked. Handlebar controls, everything was checked for loose bolts. They found none. And uh, the guy who worked on it was Billy. Billy Blythe, our, our five-time resident Isle of Man expert who actually owns two of these. So we figured he owns three. I stand correct. Billy has three of these. Yeah. Obsessed much? <laughs> his, his, I mean, he has one with like 75,000 miles on it. We bought them down, a day, Billy goes to Daytona with us every year with his lovely wife, Jill, who they actually got married at the Isle of Man. Can you imagine that? They're the only Americans ever to get ma married at the Isle of Man. At least that was the case when they got married there five years ago. But um, they rode this thing everywhere. Uh, and he's probably got over 100,000 miles on his ZRX. And here's a guy who could, you know, pro-level rider, could ride whatever he wants. He just loves... The seating position, the styling, the quarter fairing, everything about this bike speaks to Billy's inner child and uh, his sensible side. So that's what he uses for a daily rider. If you're watching this video still, it probably does for you also. We have the original ZRX 1100 owner's manual. I've got the clean title in hand. No issues getting this bike registered. I have a Carfax on it. We ran the Carfax or no issues ever reported or accident damage, which is something we normally don't do. And then there's a stack of invoices here for um, services that were done. There's one for... $250, one for $450, one for $50, um, uh, another one for $133, another one for $94, um, another for $454, just uh, all kinds of services were done on the bike uh, between the carb work and the chain and the tires and the brake services and everything else. So all these receipts will come with the bike. Um, like I said, there's over $2,000 of upgrades done to it. It's a beauty. If you have any questions about it, give us a call at 860-454-7024. You can ship this anywhere in the U.S. If you want to leave it in the museum, we have one of these in the museum on display now, a green one. Uh, matter of fact, Carl, our museum creator, curator, came up and goes, wow, I really like this one. I like this one better than the, the green one. Can we have it? And I said, well, that's up to the new owner. It's, uh, we're selling it because, well, frankly, we needed the money. Just exactly why uh everybody sells their bikes if i could keep them all i would but i can't i'm still going through the invoices here just a stack of invoices for work that was done uh mostly uh, preventative maintenance and preservation services oil changes everything seems to be up to par on the bike it's got a uh, recent battery replacement and it needs nothing to my knowledge i just wrote it it's a fantastic bike good luck bidding click the buy it now these are getting harder to come by they're already 20 years old most of them are ridden into the ground like billy's billy's a Billy's got dented, dents on the tank and almost 100,000 miles on it. And he's an Isle of Man racer. Of course, he rode it hard. So this one's been babied, uh, stored indoors. It's stunning. So thanks for watching. Hope you had as much fun, nearly as much fun as I did riding it. But what a kick-ass piece. Thanks for watching and God bless America.